moon is a fascinating object in the night sky. It is characterized with unsolved mysteries, a sad story, and incredible geometric coincidences that resulted in some truly amazing phenomena in its history. Today on Simple Science, we look at the top 6 mysterious facts about the moon. Number 1. The footprints on the moon still remain. A footprint made on the beach or in damp mud on Earth will most likely last less than half a day, so why is it that when the 12 astronauts decorated the lunar surface with footprints almost 50 years ago, on a surface constantly exposed to temperatures ranging from a freezing minus 200 degrees to a baking hot 200 degrees Celsius, the footprints remain unchanged, fresh, as if they were just made seconds ago? And the answer is, why not? All changes to the universe have a cause. The footprints made on Earth disappeared due to there being an atmosphere on Earth, and more specifically, a dynamic atmosphere with the presence of wind and flowing water. These two elements of the mighty four elements bring constant change to the Earth and allow the beach sand and damp mud to rapidly deform into more stable and consistent flat and boring ground. Allowing your footprints to disappear very quickly. Well, that's one giant leap for nothing. On the surface of the moon, there is no atmosphere, and as a result, no dynamic entity to cause change. With the exception of the occasional meteor strikes or moonquakes, the lunar surface has pretty much been unchanged and will remain unchanged indefinitely, and so will the footprints. Until some crazy thing happens, like in a 1 million chance of where the meteorites will impact directly on the precious footprints. Number 2. Lunar Magnetism When the astronauts visited the moon and collected moon rocks, which by the way have an incredible market price of $60,000 per gram, Jesus Christ, the moon rocks were discovered to be magnetic, and what's blatantly strange is that the moon does not even have a magnetic field. Magnetic fields are generated due to an effect called dynamo, whereby the fluid motion of a conducting material, for example, the fluid motion of molten iron due to convection currents on Earth, will cause a magnetic field, very much like electrons through a wire or toroid. The moon is in fact too small for convection currents to occur, so speculation arose due to this phenomena, such as the rocks being of alien origin. However, it was suggested that because the moon had once had a magnetic field, but what had caused the liquid motion necessary for magnetism, and what had caused the loss of magnetism? Christina Dwyer and her colleagues from the UCSC conducted research suggesting that the moon's core and its mantle had rotated around different axes, and that their boundary is not perfectly symmetrical. The relative motion causes the fluid to become dynamic and stir. The strength of the stir is determined by two things, the difference in the angle of the rotation of the core and the mantle and the gravitational force of the earth on the moon. And the strength of the stir, just like the magnitude of the current in a wire, will determine the magnetic field strength. And over time, the angle between the rotation of the core and mantle have narrowed, and the distance between the earth and the moon have increased, and hence weakened the gravitational force, causing the stirring to weaken and eventually insufficient to cause a noticeable magnetic field. This is of course a basic scenario, but it has yet to be disproven. Number 3. From a point made earlier, we are losing the moon. The moon is in fact drifting away from the earth at an average rate of 4 centimeters per year, the same rate of growth as my toenails. And due to the Newton's third law, the moon and the earth exert gravitational forces on each other, and the force of the moon on the earth's oceans cause tidal bulges and the energy due to the rotation of the Earth causes these tidal bulges to move slightly ahead relative to the Moon. This feeds a small amount of energy to the Moon at a gradual rate, causing it to move faster and upon basic laws of orbital mechanics, sit at a higher orbit. The Moon drifting away will cause the rotation of the Earth to slow down, in other words, give us longer days. This effect although is slow, but has seen dramatic changes in the rotational speed of the Earth and hence the length of days on the Earth. The days have increased from 5 hours at the time of the newly formed moon to 24 hours at present day. The rotational speed of the earth also affects its stability, so when the earth slows down and when the moon moves further away from the earth, it starts to become more unstable and wobbles, which can have devastating consequences on the landscape and climate of the earth. The increased wobbling causes many regions in the world to experience much more frequent and dramatic temperature swings from temperatures of summers becoming much hotter and in winters to become much colder. What matters then is our ability as humans to adapt 
to the dramatic changes in temperature such as migration or simply air conditioning. But for other living species like animals or plants, their lack of ability to adapt will have devastating consequences. Number 4. The moon is a graveyard. The moon is a burial ground, a graveyard of almost a hundred spacecraft and of human remains. The moon is littered with over a hundred man-made spacecraft that were both crashed, mostly intentional or safely landed. Since 1959, the, with the first ever impact of a man-made object on a non-terrestrial body of the Lunar 2 spacecraft of the Soviet Union, humans have launched up to 200 tons of man-made machinery to the surface of the moon. These spacecraft were employed to do a variety of things, make history, conduct human exploration, and analyze the moon's geology and landscape. A large number of these spacecraft have crash-landed and some intentionally post-mission, whilst some have unintentionally crashed, most of which were from the Soviet Luna series. In addition, human remains have also been laid rest on the moon. Obviously not full human bodies, but ash remains. Since 1992, over 450 human remains have been launched into space to final destinations from suborbital, orbital, deep space, and on the lunar surface. In 1992, the remains of NASA scientist Eugene Shoemaker, a founding father of planetary geology, were sent to the lunar surface as his death wish on NASA's lunar prospector craft. Since 2010, many remain samples have been planned to be sent onto the lunar surface, but as of right now, Eugene is the only human being with remains on the moon. Number 5. The Moon Has a Perfect Orbit Moons and planets in the solar system have elliptical orbits. The elliptical orbits are described by the periapsis, the apoapsis, which are the highest and lowest positions of a body's orbit respectively, and the eccentricity, how elliptical the orbit is. Amazingly, the periapsis and the apoapsis of the Moon are very similar, around about 400,000 kilometers from the center of the Earth. This results in an eccentricity of only 0.05, whereby the smaller the eccentricity, the more circular the orbit. The moon's orbit is therefore almost a perfect circle. This is why the moon is observed to be pretty much the same size throughout the year, with the occasional supermoon, which to be fair is barely bigger than the moon on any other day. In addition, the plane of the moon's orbit is almost the same as that of the Earth around the sun, almost only different by 5 degrees around about an infinite possibility of a spherical 360 degrees available for the moon to orbit, it just happens to line up almost perfectly with the orbit of the Earth. This allows for quite frequent solar and lunar eclipses. Now if the angle difference between the two planes is 0 degrees, or if the planes are parallel, we would be seeing lunar and solar eclipses every single month. Number 6. The moon has a perfect eclipse. When you observe a solar eclipse, you see that the silhouette of the moon is almost exactly the same as the size of the sun in the sky. That was a tongue twister. Now why is this? Is it because of an optical illusion or the effect of gravity on the moon bending light? No, it is in fact due to a perfect coincidence in the geometry and distances of the three bodies. The sun's diameter is approximately 400 times that of the moon, and amazingly, the distance of the sun from the earth is approximately 400 times that of the moon from the earth. This geometric coincidence allows us to observe the moon to almost perfectly cover the sun during a total solar eclipse.